Hi everybody and welcome to Momdas Life Handmade. Today I'm going to share how I decorate a little corner in my kitchen and make my Christmas kitchen vineyard. I have a small kitchen and therefore every uh, surface is in use. All my countertops or platforms are in use. So I have this little corner uh, where I decorate a little. This space is also functional for I keep my everyday forks, bones, oil, everything around in this corner so to begin with I just cleared up what was there and uh, just cleaned it a bit I brought back uh, my false cheese board uh, false wood burning sign on it which says Bon Appetit I made this in my uh, previous I think uh, spring kitchen vineyard I uh, made this false cheese board I brought it back I just removed the previous tag which was a lemon I uh, brought back my white uh, bottle recycled waste and it has this wheat shaft in it and this is another utensil with some red seeds in it. Next I got my body jar and uh, filled it up again with some toffees and kept it in a corner. I brought back my everyday use forks and spoons in its container back to where it was. To put all the decor on a tray is a very thoughtful idea. You can just pick it and move it aside if you need to use that space. So I brought this tray. Uh, it came long back with some uh, toffees and candies and I had painted it in a marble uh, kind of look. Added my cone Christmas tree that I made last year. Uh, I love the white and little segments on it. I placed it right at the back of the tray. Next I brought my gingerbread house, one of my recent DIYs. I love this DIY. It has a courtyard or a garden of its own for it doubles up both as a lantern as well as a face. So I placed it right in front of the, of the tree. So there is a good contrast of colors with the cheese put at the back, the tree, cone tree, white in color in front and the gingerbread house in the front. I love the colors that is building up here, all whites and a wood neutral kind of colors here. Next I added some pine cones. I had collected them long back when we were in Shimla and uh, I added some false greens and berries here and there on the tray to fill up the little empty spaces. Next I took this uh, ornament that I made recently. This is made out of a recycled bell jar or mason jar lid and I love this cute thing. Next I took a stack of books. I made this again last Christmas. I just took some three old books at my home and covered them with white paper and on one of them I pasted uh, the letter J and on one I pasted the letter Y and on the third I just made a wreath in the shape of O using a red felt tip pen so that together they spell out the word joy. Now taking a red and white twine or a butcher's twine I just uh, put them together I just tied the three books together I've seen this thing going so popular now not only on YouTube as well as on Pinterest and Instagram and they look really nice and I just didn't do single string I just went round and round both axes and number of strings number of layers and then tied a simple bow As this is just for pure decorative purpose, I've just kept on one side of this corner, little beside my tray. Here is my humble little corner in my kitchen uh, with my little gingerbread house on a tray with some uh, florals, false florals and pine cones and light coming out of the house. I just, I just can't 
stop admiring the light that comes out of the windows and doors in this house. I just love it. I love the white over the cardboard, the gingerbread look, my white Christmas tree, my little ornament and the words that say Bon Appetit on a false uh, cheese board, another DIY of mine. I uh, love these wheat chaff, wheat uh, stalks. I uh, still kept it. I keep it the year round. I just have this little glass uh, jar or I don't know what is it called. It's basically for keeping uh, some kind of uh, chemicals or liquid and uh, I love the shape and I have added some uh, seeds, red seeds in it and then I have my stack of books tied up with string uh, with the red and white string over the white covers. It's so pretty and they have the words that spell joy and I think it's so beautiful. My body jar is now filled with some sweet treats, some toffees and uh, this is another DIY of mine, a trash to treasure thing. I just took a piece of uh, tin and gave it an antique look and uh, uh, I made an antique label for it which says utensils and I keep my uh, everyday, every time use uh, forks and spoons in it. This is a very functional corner of mine. Uh, it's just in the corner of the platform so it doesn't hinder any work in this in my kitchen and I really like how this turned out lots of whites lots of uh, little florals and the uh, color of the wood or the gingerbread I love how this has turned out thank you so much everybody for stopping by for watching and uh, I'll see you soon in my next DIY a next video till then take care Bye-bye. See you soon.